Hi Nikki, it's Sophia here and today I'm going to give you um, a short uh, video audit of your Facebook page. But before I do that, I went into your personal profile and I was looking for your page on this side here where it says owner at and um, unfortunately you need to redo this bit because it's taking me into this page here which is not your page, okay? So all you have to do is go into your about page uh, and just change that owner um, and put the URL of your page in it. I think I've got it here. So you, you know the URL of your page. That's the URL of your page. Um, <coughs> so let's go onto your page now. Okay. I know it's a very new page. But if you set up certain um, certain things from the beginning, then you have the foundation. So on the about page, okay. So on your about page, um, you have a series of spaces to put a description. So you've got the shop description, and always what's rec recommended in here is to put a URL to your website or to if you don't have um, a website any other um, site that you're promoting for example and I know this is very short okay this short description is very short but you can use a system called bitly for example I use bitly and um, oops let's go back um, so I use a system called Bitly. Why is your page just coming back? Uh, and that's where I put on, in the URL here. So a, a simple call to action. And when you have your website done, then um, you should put your um, your website there as a, a short URL as well. Uh, also on the about page, you have a series of um, different spaces to put. So. All the keywords that you're going to put on this area are going to be searchable, not only through Facebook but also through search engines. Okay, so as much keywords as you want to put in here, and I think there's um, some other areas that you can put more, more writing. Okay, um, on the uh, cover photo. What I'll do with the cover photo, I normally do is, and I recommend, is a business to do like, it depends on what um, businesses that you're lo launching per month, but have like a themed kind of cover photo going on, you know, so it's not always the same, okay? And on the cover photo, the, if you click on it, you have then a space on the side that you will see on your account, as I'm not an admin of your account, you will see on your account add description. So you can put a, a, a description there to um, some service or some product that you are promoting on that particular month. Of course, you can tag then other pages, you can use hashtags in there on the description. It's all up to you. So that's another thing. So you're going to have, I don't see it here, but you will, when you start having more likes, um, you're going to have a call to action button in here. Okay? So you can have different call to actions. For example, a month, you can just have like um, people. Uh, setting up calls with you so that's what you would put on your cover photo and then you'll have the call to action to actually um, to actually drive them there to that call to action place um, to grow your um, to grow your likes organically you can start talking about your pages in groups uh, that allow you to do that and also you can start inviting your friends, um, via, invite strategic friends, so friends that you know they have connections that might need your services, okay, so you just press invite your friends and then you, you know, you choose your friends to invite sort of thing. Let me just send some to some people that we know already. 
So, okay. And another thing is to actually start having a scheduling on your posts. Um, I recommend at least uh, a couple of posts per day or week. Um, I normally go as far as three posts a day per week. So then at the end of the, of the month, you can look into your insights. And I think you're only going to have access to insights after 40 likes. So that's why you need to pump up those likes for now. And then later on, you can pay to get some ads as well, uh, paid advertising on Facebook to get some more targeted ads to your page. Um, so as I was saying, three posts, three posts a day uh, per week, um, depending if you you work on weekends or not. But you can schedule some for the weekend that come out automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. And what else I could tell you about? So of course, then you have tabs. Okay, so later on you will probably have a lead magnet on your website. A lead magnet is um, something that you're going to give away for free so you can um, trade it for an email address so you can start building your list and growing your list. And um, you can also add that lead magnet onto these tabs. Um, there is not a lot that I can tell you. Um, about your page at the moment because it's just so so small and you've just started basically so you know keep up the good work and i hope this helps and if you have any questions let me know i'll speak to you soon bye